So I have a problem in my yard here behind me. I've got a low spot that I want to level out. And so in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to use a transit. I'm gonna show you the parts of a transit, how to set up a transit, and how to shoot grade across a line so that you can figure out how much elevation change there is between point A, point B, point C. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Warren, and you're watching The Plant Doctor. Let's get started. So there's three components to a transit. One of them I have here in my hand. This is a tripod. The other part is the transit that sits on top of this. And the third part is what we call a grading rod. Some people refer to it as a gym pole. Some people just call it a, a measuring stick, but the proper term is a grading yard. So the first thing we have to do is set up our tripod. And so all tripods are a little bit different, but this one, it has extendable telescopic legs. We're just gonna drop these three legs down. And the goal here is to get the top of our transit as level as we can, just eyeballing, because we've got to get our transit level on top and it makes life a whole lot easier if we can get this platform here as level as possible. I'm hoping this shows up on film right now, but I'm leading slightly to my right. So what I'm gonna do is take this leg and bring it in a little bit. And that's pretty good right there, just eyeballing that looks level. Now you wanna do this on two planes, so we're doing it on my left right plane right now. I'm gonna do it on my fore aft plane as well. And so if I look here, it looks like I'm pointing back towards the camera just a smidge. So we're gonna bring this leg out and we're going to put it in the ground just a little bit, maybe a little more. And that looks pretty good. So the first step, pull out your tripod, try to get the platform as level as possible. So this here is our actual transit. And the next step is to put the transit onto our tripod. And so the bottom of the transit is female threaded. There's a male thread screw at the bottom of our tripod. And what we're going to do is just screw this in until it's attached. Now, right now, we are not level. I'm going to move the camera around. There's a bubble level in here, and these knobs here, we have to move these knobs around in order to get the bubble level. Once the bubble's within the circle, we know we're perfectly level, and then we can move this move the transit around 360 degrees, and we know we're on an even plane all the way around. So right now, if I were to shoot with this, I would be measuring lower here and higher behind the camera just due to the bubble orientation. So it's imperative we get our bubble okay. dead center in mm -hmm. the circle to get an accurate measurement. All right, so this is our grading rod. And so the grading rod, this particular grading rod is 16 feet tall and it measures in quarter inch increments. So you can get pretty accurate with this particular grading rod. Some grading rods will actually come with a bubble level on them to make sure that whoever's holding the rod is not holding it too far to the left or too far to the right, because that's going to alter your true measurement of where you're really at. So whoever's holding the rod, it's imperative if you don't have a bubble level to communicate with your rod holder to let them know that, hey, you're leaning to the left, leaning to the right, you're leaning towards me, you're leaning away from me, to try to get an accurate measurement. I'm gonna bring my friend Austin in. So Austin is uh, actually an FFA advisor here in town, one of my former students that I have recruited to help me with this video. And we're gonna shoot some spots here with the transit, and we're gonna show you some measurements of how to look through the transit to the rod, uh, to the grading rod to get an accurate measurement. So the next thing we need to do is align our transit with our grading rod that Austin's holding here behind us. And how we do that is this has sights on it, similar to, I don't think we can use the G word on YouTube without the algorithm kind of messing up. So we're gonna call this a, a pew pew, you know what I mean? And so you look down, there's a groove here and there's a single spike here. You look down through that on the top of the transit and line that up with your grading rod. Once you have that, you can look inside of the eyepiece here. And then on this side, you rotate this knob back and forth to get it in focus. So let's go ahead and try to get a measurement here. 
I'm going to look right down that sight line. I'm going to look into my eyepiece now that I have it. And I'm going to try to shoot some B-roll so you guys can see what I'm seeing inside the lens. Uh, that might be easier said than done. But I have roughly five foot four and one quarter inch. So five four and a quarter inch. That's the elevation that we're going to start with. And we're going to measure two or three more points down through here to see what kind of slope we have. So Austin has moved from point A to point B. And we're going to repeat the process. We need... Uh, a measurement here and if we look through our transit as you can see here I'm at five foot and seven inches so we had five four and a quarter here and he's at five seven the the thing about a transit I want you to understand is this as your numbers increase on your line of vision through the transit that indicates the ground is falling so I've gone from five four and a quarter to five foot seven that tells me between point A and point B, we have fallen in elevation two and three quarters inches. We're gonna grab one more elevation shot and show you the fall through here. The goal here is just to kind of get a feel for a low spot that I have in my yard, it, because when it rains really hard, there's a low spot. And what I'm trying to do is figure out how much sand I need to bring in. This is Bermuda grass, so I can add sand to it and the Bermuda will come back through it put some sand down so that I don't have standing water here. So Austin's moved our grading rod over to our, our third point. Point C is what we'll refer to it as. And here again, same process. I'm gonna use the top sight to get my grading rod in line. Then I'm gonna go in here, focus the crosshairs. And I'm still at five foot seven right there. So this is telling me something here. So I was at uh, five, four and a quarter over here, five, seven. And then we go further down the drainage line where the water goes around the side of the house. I'm still at five, seven. Really, I don't have a, a, a low spot, so to say. What's happening is I've got a really flat spot where the water is just slowing down. So the slope behind me here at the camera in the transit is really steep. It levels out. And then, so that water is just pooling right there before it gets around the corner. So it's not so much that we've got to bring in soil here. It's actually, we need to cut on that corner to keep the water moving. And that's why it's important to have a transit. Yeah, we could eyeball this. I thought I had a low spot, but what it really is, it's just flat. This will not lie to you. As long as you have that bubble dead center in the circle, trust this. It's not gonna tell you a lie. And then from there, you, you have a data set to know, do I need to bring in soil? Do I need to cut? You'll have that information as needed. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. Until next time, happy gardening.